We are sandwiched between Fort Worth and Dallas, Texas in Arlington at the luxurious AT&T Stadium. A moment ago, here was the scene with the Cowboys emerging from their tunnel. It was loud. It's still loud. We're ready for football as the Cowboys get set to match up with the New York Giants. They go play action here on first down. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. So the contact came before the ball got there, and the flag is thrown. Timing is everything, isn't it? And it's so hard to cover these great receivers. They have such great body control, and they can fake you out. In this case, as you described, got there before the ball got to the receiver. Penalty flag had to come out. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a second and 11. Again to Elliott. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. It'll be a loss of a yard, and they'll be facing a third and 12. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, it's nothing but room to run. He's got his man, it's Williams. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this into enemy territory across the 40. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. Play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. And he finds a man with a crossing route. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15. That one goes for 24 yards. I do believe we'll see a little bit more of this as this game progresses because when you can have that type of a game in the middle of the defense, it hurts them in so many ways because most teams like to be strong down the middle. And if you can sting them there, that open things up for you on the outside as well. That's where he, their big tight end, is so good. That middle third, the seam routes, the in routes. Yeah, you're right. Probably see more there. Yeah, it takes a lot of courage and fortitude to go in the middle as well. <laughs> but he's got it. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal. Because everything was right. Got the completion. But he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. On second down, Elliott. And only about a yard there as he takes it from the nine to the eight. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short game. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. Prescott from the gun on third. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle, going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. And his kick is right there. It's good. And the Cowboys are going to jump out to a 3-0 lead. So the first points of the night belong to our home team as they're able to take the opening kickoff and at least get three points out of it. Yeah, and that helps the crowd, right? It helps people feel good about why they're there watching this game. They move the ball well on their opening drive.
The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Latimer on the return. Yeah, he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line of the New York Giants as they come back out here on offense. Last year, all the disappointment, 3-13. and 13. Of course, there was the Eli Manning starting controversy. That streak broken, but now a new slate, and you got to think they're poised to do better than 3-13, and 13, right? They certainly are, but their schedule does them no favors right in the beginning. Even though they open at home, they're getting Jacksonville, who played an AFC Championship game last year. In a lot of ways, are exactly what the Giants want to be in terms of how they run offense and how physical they are. Then they've got to go to Dallas for a division rival game. Then they go to Houston, so they stay in the state of Texas before they come home to take on New Orleans. Those first four, very difficult for the G-Men. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Now the rookie first rounder from Penn State, Saquon Barkley. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. It's a loss of two, now third down. And Brandon, as we continue to see, so much of the influence on this game is now coming from those hybrid type players. In this case, strong safety, not worried about covering the pass. What a play on the run. Tackled for a loss. Yeah, forget the pregame introductions. Introduced himself with authority on that play. To Barkley on the check down. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. When you give up points on the opening drive, in this case a field goal, you'd hate to go three and out. They avoid that. They do, and it's also walking that fine line mentally, too, as a coach, isn't it? Because you want to emphasize to your team exactly what you said. All right, we gave up a field goal. Let's go back and at least equal that, guys. But if we don't, you don't want to feel like it's the end of the world, either. Nice that they were able to pick up the first down there, help him relax a little bit. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. I think defensively, you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. That one good for 16 and the drive will continue. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 46. Manning to throw once more. He dumps it off to Barkley, and he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. He'll get a couple yards on that one, and it'll be a second down. And forget about the run to set up the pass. They're just coming out throwing. Forget trying to set anything up. They feel like they have the advantage. They feel like they have the matchups, and they're just attacking right now. Yep, going to the air on the opening drive. So second and eight here after the pass play for two yards on first down. Again, they'll throw with Manning. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back complete. And he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 40. It's a gain of five, and they're going to have a third down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware, ball may come your way. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Again, it's Manning. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. It'll be a pickup of four, good enough to earn him yet another first down. Manning going to come up on first and ten, and he's six of seven now on this drive. Now Manning again. And not able to get it that time. He hit on six straight passes. Not there. Second down. I know coaches tell us all the time that having a powerful arm isn't the number one thing they look for in a quarterback. 
But when you're trying to throw inside routes and you need to put some heat on it, it helps to have the big gun. In this case, just a little bit too much. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and 10. Here's a give to Barkley. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. Over the middle, he's got his tight end Ingram. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. And that will wind up just short. He had it on line. It ran out of gas at the end. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, he gets everything he could into this one. The trajectory's good. It's definitely on line. It just needs a little more oomph behind it. And it'll wind up falling just shy of the crossbar. Now he tried the 50 yarder and miss it. And now this offense has it first and 10 at the 40. They start on the ground with Elliott, and he'll be brought down, losing yardage back at the 40. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. I know that speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. Prescott now on second down. A dump off to Elliott. And he'll be brought down right at the 45-yard line. It's a gain of six on the play, and that'll bring up a third down. So third and five, defensively expecting pass. They've got six DBs out there. Prescott from the gun. And an alley to run. He's got a first down and then sub inside the 40. 18 yards there and a first down. First down carry by Elliott. And he'll slice his way down to the 30 with a pickup of seven. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber with runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. They play fake to Elliott. Now Prescott. And some room to work. It's a gain of four there, and it gives him a new set of downs. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. It's not always as trade as that team wanted it more than the other, but on that play, it actually was true. They were faster to the ball. Sitting alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, as it is Cowboy football to begin quarter number two. But they face a second and long to start things out. Hey, hey, 
A handoff left, Elliott. And he'll get this one down to about the 27. One yard officially on the pickup, and it'll leave him with a third and 11. Well, that didn't appear to be a run blitz. He just darted in once he saw the run develop. That appeared to be a case of see ball, get ball. The Cowboys on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This is third and 11. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Throw right side, complete to Williams. Williams loses the football, and the Giants have it. It's picked up, and this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. We have seen this before, and we know coaches preach about this and work on it all the time. Catch the ball. You know there's going to be some traffic somewhere. They've got to put it away and secure it as they try and get downfield. Now this will go for five up to the 33. And you remember pre-draft, there was a lot of speculation that the Giants should look for their future quarterback at number two with a great possibility. Remember, Sam Darnold from USC was still on the board, but they passed on him to take this runner, Saquon Barkley. And this is exactly why. They think he can extend the life of Eli Manning's career and give them 1,000-yard seasons year after year. They haven't had a 1,000-yard season since 2012. Ahmad Bradshaw did it there. And this is Latimer, complete. His first catch there, good for 10 yards and a first down. Manning now hitting on 80% of his passes in the early going. 8 of 10, it's first down. Now Manning. They'll complete this to Ingram as tight end. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. That throw good for four. It's second down. It's vitally important to wrap him up immediately because if you let that big guy get ahead of steam up, boy, then you've got real trouble trying to get him down. But they're able to hold him to a short gain on first down. Four yards on that last completion, so that sets up second and six. A handoff to Barkley. And he'll get three up to midfield. Well, they didn't get a whole lot out of that one, but I think you've got to continue to try and run and try and keep the defense honest. You mean or else they'll just sit back, dare you to throw it on every down? Yeah, you get your quarterback hit a lot that way, too. The Giants on third down. They've been okay, two for three thus far. This time it's third and three. From midfield, here's Manning. And incomplete. The contact made the ball roam free and brings up fourth down. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, and as it turned out, couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It was way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. Fourth down, so on is the punter, Riley Dixon. Back deep is Tavon Austin. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. And yeah, last drive, obviously not what you're looking for. You've got the lead. You've got to protect the football. So in other words, someone got lucky because they've been moving the ball really well and wearing them down. In this case, though, giving up the football doesn't make them very happy. They can't wait to get back out there and atone for it. Yeah, try to atone for it here on this drive. They'll start the drive with Elliott, and he'll get only a couple up to the 22. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. up to about the 25. A sizable gain there, nine yards as they get it back to a third and five. Okay, you got four. 
But you've got to give kudos to your offensive line and the guy carrying the ball because they were in a second and long situation. It seemed pretty dire, but they brought it back to third and manageable with that run. From the shotgun, it's Prescott. And this is going to be incomplete. Certainly looked like they were getting ready to convert there on third down, but what an effort to get his hand on that one, knock it away, and brings up a fourth down decision. So on fourth down, here's Chris Jones to punt it away. Back deep, it's Odell Beckham. A big boot that time, 57 yards, the official distance. And the Giants' drive will start from deep in their territory with a first and 10. And New York set to take the field. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides, each head coach. Can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? Demarcus Lawrence in on the tackle. What's the old expression? Three yards in a cloud of dust? In this case, it's dust-covered pellets. It's no longer that old grass that we used to play on right and chew it up. Now we've got that artificial surface. You see the pellets go up. Still a nice play by the defense. On second down, here's Manning. And he gets it complete to Latimer. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets this football out shy of the 30 to the 29. down carry for Barkley. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Let's talk a little football 101 here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. Second down, here's Barkley. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Give him 12 yards on that one, it earns him a fresh set of downs. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there, they blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them for that much space to rumble. Now Saquon Barkley, and he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 45-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Uh, it's a tough one right there. He ran right into the teeth of the blitz as the linebacker was freed up in order to stuff that one for a loss. I think quarterbacks got to see that, got to find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. Barkley. And he works his way forward for about four up to the midfield stripe. Some of the most unselfish players on any football team, defensive tackles, because we ask them to just eat up blocks and allow other people to make tackles. But when he can make a play himself, as we just saw there, that's a big day. The Giants on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and eight. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. I feel like Eli Manning has just gone from downfield bomber to a guy who can complete everything. You can hit him underneath now, yeah, can Yeah, we just saw that there with that pass completion. The maturity of a veteran taken with the defense are given. Manning now on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. And 15 yards there on the catch and run. 
When the hitch route is run really well, that jab step off the line of scrimmage by the receiver, which is designed to back up the defender and give him a little bit of space, all you want there, get that space, catch the football, and then make a move and pick up extra yardage. And that's exactly what he got done there. On first and 10, here's Manning. And his guys are gonna get the football at the 23 yard line. Well, partner, the last couple weeks I've been asking you about the favorites in each division and talked about Super Bowl predictions and all that, but what about a team from each side that might surprise us a little bit this year? Well, the one I'm going to start with in the AFC shouldn't be a surprise when you look at who they have returning from injury, and that's the Houston Texans. They were running the AFC South for a while when everyone was healthy and J.J. Watt was getting to the quarterback. Now Deshaun Watson returns, and they are an entirely different team with him at quarterback. On the NFC side, I know a lot of people are looking at the Bears, and rightly so. I love them as a trendy pick. But I'm going to take one where people are saying maybe they're a five-win team. I don't believe that for a second. The Seattle Seahawks. I think they will surprise people and contend in the NFC West. Only a gain of a couple there. That leaves them needing about seven here on third down. Earlier this half, you were wondering how the defense was going to handle him defensively. Were they going to bottle him up at different levels, so to speak, is what you said. What have you seen so far? Well, I think they've been absolutely terrific because it feels like on every play, if we were watching this in the film room, when you clicked off the film or stopped it, you would see 11 shirts of that same color right there in the frame trying to tackle him. That's what you're looking for. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. And that one drops incomplete as he got popped as he was throwing it. Nothing open downfield, and he had to get that one out in a hurry because he just knew he was about to take a big shot. Probably couldn't get his legs into the throw. Became an all-arm throw trying to check it down to his running back. Incomplete. Here's Beckham. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And it'll be giant football first and 10. And New York set to take the field. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. And, of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know, we had a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. And he stopped immediately there. No gain on the play there. Second down. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. And now a timeout called by the Cowboys defense. It's just their first, so they'll have two remaining here before we get to halftime. The Giants on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third down and 12. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he's able to get up here to the 26. And now the Cowboys are going to call another timeout. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. Here's Riley Dixon now. On for his second punt. He'd take a repeat of his first. And a fair catch signaled for and taken just outside the 20-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. Go. 
on first and ten. Prescott. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. When I watched that play, I thought about what my coaches had told me in the past. The biggest teaching point, get your head around. Locate the football so you can make a play on it while it's in the air. That's exactly what he did there. That was nice. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Here's Prescott. Eluding the pressure right. And he's brought down, getting this one up to about the 35. Opted to run for it. The decision, a good one. Picking up the first, getting 14 yards on the scramble. Man, defensively, that hurts. They got him out of his rhythm. They had him hemmed in. But somehow he was able to tuck it away and get away for a gain. Prescott looks to throw on first. Drops it underneath, Elliott. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. The loss of three on that first down pass play, now second and 13. Looking to throw, Prescott. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. As the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. The Cowboys on third down. They've converted just two for six thus far. This is third and seven. To throw is Prescott. He's going to go for a big play downfield. That's caught inside the 20. And he is down deep into giant territory. A big play there just before halftime. 44 yards. So we have come to halftime here in Dallas with the Cowboys out in front. As we'll get you over to Orlando, where standing by is Jonathan Coachman. He has our EA Sports halftime report. And these offenses seemingly still back at the hotel for the first half. 3-0 our score as the second half gets underway. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And here comes the Giants offense back out onto the field. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone you know not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. And seeing no options, he just tosses this one away incomplete. Now that'll bring up second down. A pretty good coverage there in both of these defenses. They've had good coverage throughout this one. No doubt about it. And in today's NFL, where we're used to a bit more scoring, this feels almost like a well-pitched game in baseball on both sides where the tension continues to build. Who's going to make the big play? On the run, it's Barkley. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. And that's another stop for the defense, something we've seen all game long. They have been on fire today. No matter what's called by the offense, they've had an answer for it. The Giants on third down. They've hit at 50%, three of six to this point. This is third and 11. Shotgun now for Manning. 
And he'll just toss it away. So he throws it away, and that brings up fourth down. Another drive comes and goes. Still nothing on the scoreboard. Yeah, and when the second half comes, you know, it's real easy to get discouraged and wonder if you're ever going to get things started. You just got to fight through it. Got to keep pounding away. Here's Riley Dixon now as he's on to punt for New York. Averaging over 50 yards of punt so far as this one's away. Here's Austin. Called out a 46-yard punt, though they did get nine back on the return. And possession will switch hands first and ten. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. Yeah, how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. A gain of six there on first. Nice play call, a little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Now Prescott. Quick hitter here, it's complete. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. The gain of four that time as the drive continues. That was a route run not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. So that'll back him up five. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Throwing. Prescott. All incomplete. A turnover would have really helped there. Almost intercepted. Instead, it's just second down. Oh, man, that was close. The opportunity to change momentum. Big play right in his hands unable to come down with it. A sigh of relief, no doubt, on offense that that fell harmlessly to the ground. So they'll come up after the incompletion for second down. And again, it's Prescott. And this will be incomplete. The effort's always going to be there. Everyone's always going to try and make a catch, but underthrown balls, I think, are the toughest ones to come back and get because usually your momentum's going in the opposite direction when you're trying to stop, break, and come back and get it. The Cowboys on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This will be third and 15. Prescott yet again. And he can't get away from the pressure the Giants get there. Well, certainly some teams are not intimidated by down and distance on defense, are they? Third and very long? <laughs> Let's go get this guy again. Big time pressure. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he's on to kick it away. And now it looks like he's in some discomfort after being tackled at the end of that return. While the training staff works on him, we'll step aside and be right back. And the Giants ready to come out now. We have not seen much on offense from either side these last few drives. It has been a struggle, hasn't it? Totally, and you're thinking to yourself right now, if you're on offense trying to get things figured out, okay, we self-scout every week in our game plan. How many things do we do at certain times? What are our tendencies? Time to go to some of those tendency breakers and try and create some offense. They always have those. And he's hit and taken down. Eli sacked. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. Now following the sack, they'll look to make amends on a second down and 17. Set. 
From the gun, it's Manning. And his throw's going to be incomplete. Said it looked like maybe his third or his fourth read on his progression. Just trying to find his outlet man that time. Ends up leading him just a bit too much. The Giants on third down. Three for seven so far in this game. This is third and 17. Working from the gun, Manning. It's caught, Shepard. And they finally take him down, but not before he reaches the 43. A big play there, Manning to Shepard, 42 yards. A nice job there, Charles. They picked up the blitz, were able to complete the pass. That had the total feel of a quarterback in control. Red blitz, got him into the right protection scheme. So he doesn't get hit back there. He's got a chance to step up with supreme confidence and deliver it downfield for a nice completion. He rifles one that's intercepted. Picked up by Anthony Brown. And this return's going to go backwards about eight yards, but the interception is good, and they have the football. Thought they had something going there to break that goose egg here in the second half, but to no avail. Hope was alive until that interception. What a terrific play, taking the ball away after it looked like they were starting a drive. And now that shutout still standing. You know that's something those defensive guys hold a lot of pride on too. No doubt about it. They're excited about where they are in this game. They only got a yard out of that last completion, and that makes this second and nine. Now Prescott. And a quick throw here, that's complete. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. His fifth catch tonight, and it's good for a first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right, safety valve, throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Set him back five. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. Now Elliott. And he'll take this up near the 35, maybe the 34. They get the penalty yardage back, plus a yard. Six-yard gain, and it's second and nine. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Again, it's Elliott. And he'll work this one up to about the 38. Alec Ogletree in on the stop. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. The Cowboys on third down. They've converted three times and eight chances. This will be third and five. Prescott to throw it. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage. It'll be back at the 36. Call it a loss of two on the play. And it'll be fourth down. I love the intelligence the defense just showed there. Read their keys, saw the screen developing, ran to it, and smothered it. What a third down stop by them. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Here's the giant offense now as they get ready to take over here. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defense is right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys, they're tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. 
Brandon, that play typifies what we've seen from the offense all day long. They've had no success getting things going. I think for the offensive coordinator, he's got to go to that side of the play sheet that says try something different. Try some specials, something they haven't seen all day to try and get this offense kick-started. Manning to throw on second down. It's complete on the bubble screen. That's Shepard. That one good for the completion percentage, but no gain. It'll be third down. The defense loves to hang their hat on that, don't they? You get a guy that catches the ball, but you stop him for no gain. Without a doubt, because they're also used to trying to catch people after the catch, and they miss. And that turns into what? A huge play. We've seen it so many times. In this case, though, catch was made, put down right on the spot. Throwing is Manning on third down. And that is incomplete. But no second guessing the call here. It was third and long, so throwing the football was probably the smart play to try and pick it up. But they don't get it, and now the defense goes off the field feeling pretty good about themselves, gaining some momentum as they force them into a likely punting situation. Here's Riley Dixon now. He's been terrific so far. Now Austin. A good kick, 48 yards, four on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. Now the Cowboys offense heads back onto the field. They've got the lead. Last time had to punt it, though. What's the key to this drive? I think it's leverage. Ah, the leverage. big guys up front. You know the motivational speech on the sideline is, guys, give us an opportunity. Protect the passer, create space for our runners, and let's go ahead and get these guys. Low man wins. Let's go do it on this drive. <laughs> we'll watch that leverage on this drive. Looking and finding Alan Hearns. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. Prescott now a perfect 8-for-8 eight eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and 10. Off play action to Elliott. Here's Prescott. A dump off to Elliott. And he is out of bounds inside the 30. A really nice gain of 25 yards. We can talk all we want about football being a game of strength and brawn. It's also a game of mismatches, and they're trying to create one there, getting it to their back out of the backfield to make a bigger play. As we often say, get it to him in space, let him use his leg. Yeah, if, if he can get a matchup against a linebacker or maybe a defensive end dropping out in a zone blitz, he's going to win that battle just about every time. Throwing the out route incomplete. That's Williams. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Again to Elliott running left. And he will lose yardage and be backed up to the 24. He lost two there, and it's third down. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. You know what the converse is, though? You've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks, and when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Prescott from the gun on third, and this is going to be incomplete. I'm not sure we could spot any tendency here on this third down. They could have run it or passed it. Either one was available. They chose to try and get it through the air, but they run successful. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. He connected on his first, this from 41. And his kick is indeed good. And that will add three more to their lead. It pushes it up to six. So no problems at all on that one. And, and you know there's virtually no win. This is a kicker's dream here tonight. It absolutely is, isn't it? So to me, with no wind, it should be a passer's dream as well, yeah. right? But in this case, the defense held out. They had to force the field goal. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. 
This one fielded at the five. And not a particularly good return here as they'll be forced to start at the 12-yard line. And now out come the Giants. These guys had to punt their last possession, and that's become too familiar of a refrain. Too many of these drives just wound up going nowhere. Well, you know how in baseball, when the pitcher gets a base hit and he's on base, they bring his jacket out to him to keep him warm? A lot of times, the punter goes to the sideline and puts on sweatpants or a wrap over his leg to keep it warm. He might need a massage from the trainer right now <laughs> from all the work he's getting. They'll start out on the ground. It's Saquon Barkley. And a nice gain there as he'll be taken down just shy of the 20. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. They'll run it again with Barkley. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose a yard, and it brings up third. Make it now three tackles for a loss in this game, one for each quarter. And for a guy who played defense in college, I can just tell you that he's feeling very satisfied right now by what he's doing, but he's elated because he knows what he's doing is helping his team win the game right now, making some big-time plays, getting into the offense's backfield and spilling everything. Now Manning. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. They get six on the pickup there as the drive will continue. Manning now a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad. First and ten. To throw, it's Manning. Open man right side is Ingram. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Back now in Arlington. It's the Giants with possession of the football, but needing points as we start quarter number four. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Now it's Barkley. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. Seven yards there. Good enough to move the sticks. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. Manning now on first down. Oh, he's got a man wide open. Complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 47. Operating from the gun, Manning. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he'll go down shy of the 40 at the 41. Give him six on the play, and it'll be second down. Looked like a pretty good, safe play right there. No, he's had trouble with the interceptions in this game there. Hits his guy out in the flat. Yeah, so many times we hear quarterbacks and offensive coordinators talk about, in your progressions, you're either throwing the touchdown or you're throwing the check down. But earlier in the game, it was touchdown or interception. Now he got to the check down. A nice safe throw and a good one. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. One thing I have learned, receivers don't mind high throws so much to the sideline, but do that over the middle to them. And not only are the DBs going to throw a little verbal trash their way, when they get back to the huddle, they have a few words to say to their QB, aren't they? Yeah, hung out to dry a little bit there on the high throw. Luckily fell incomplete. Manning to throw once more. And that is incomplete. The touch and time here critical for those types of throws. He put a lot of zip on that one. Needed just a little bit more finesse trying to get it to his back. Here's Riley Dixon now as he'll come on for his fifth kick of the night. 
And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Yeah, Run what you do best. On the gas. Exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. The best way to do it? Touchdowns. And he's up past the 10 to about the 12. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Well, Brandon Pace comes into play now because they've got the advantage. They've got the football, but they've got to be very careful about what speed they're going to play. You know, my, my music teacher back in New Paltz, Mrs. Bythema Bagley, used to say, don't go prestissimo when you really want to go largo. And what she meant by that is don't go too fast when you really want to go at a nice, slow, deliberate pace. I am speechless. I am without speech. And he's going to be taken down right at about the 15-yard line. A three-yard pickup on second and four. Now they'll need to convert here on third and a little more than a yard. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And now running right through it. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. No gain there on the play, and that's going to leave them with a fourth down. Perfectly designed blitz right there. They took that one from the grease board to the field because they were able to free up their linebacker to get into the backfield and spill the play. Well, now comes the Cowboys punter, standing just about on his own goal line. Dancing away at the 30. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. The Giants offense now, they get ready to head back on the field. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. Don't want to and now a fumble. The ball's out. It's picked up by the Cowboys. And they take possession of the football and have it at the 36-yard line. Often on fumbles, you look at the guy who coughed it up and say, geez, what did he do? But hey, let's tip the cap to the defense here. Not a problem at all, my man. I'm not going to tip it. I'm going to doff my cap to him. Congratulations. Big time play. Knocking it free and creating something good for your team. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. When you execute a drag or a crossing route really well and give them a chance to let it develop a little bit, you can gain some significant yardage hitting your tight end on that one. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. And the play clock is going to run out here. They're in no hurry to get a playoff. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. So the delay of game penalty backs him up. It's now second and seventh. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. He finds Hearns left side. And he'll go down at the 28. That catch good for five. It's third down. The Cowboys on third down. They've had a lot of chances, but not much success, converting only three times. Here it's third and two. Prescott from the gun. And this is going to be incomplete. Charles, thinking back to what you said in the first quarter, that part of the magic elixir for a road victory for these underdogs was going to be winning the turnover battle. Well, they only have one right now. Look at the scoreboard. Yeah, not exactly playing to the form that I subscribed, right? When you talk about winning that turnover battle, that evens things out, especially for a road team, especially for a team that's an underdog. And this one is right down Broadway. 
And that will make our score nine to nothing. Same story continues. He's the only one that scored for them, their kicker, with all the points. So now when we hear the chance of MVP, MVP, <laughs> they're definitely aimed at him because he has been the only guy who's put points on the board in this game. Kickers are always either the hero or the GOAT. So far, he's definitely the hero. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Cody Latimer now on the return. And he'll take this across the 25, a couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. The Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. And last time they coughed it up, led to a field goal. They're fortunate that it only led to a field goal, but still, they're not happy about it. Could you sense the relief, though, when okay. they only gave up the field goal? <laughs> And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this drive. A little more pep in their step because they didn't cost their team a touchdown. But they know they've got to do it a lot better than they did on the last possession. The coach will just be relieved, though, if they recoup with a score here, right? I think coach will be ecstatic to see them pick themselves back up and now take it downfield, punching the end zone without turning it over. It'll be a gain of nine, and that'll make it second and short. And that's one of his advantages of a passer is it not with his height setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle. He can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different ways, all right? You don't have to be his height to make a great play, but what he does is he takes away having to make those slides. Now, a loose football. The ball comes out. It's picked up by the Cowboys, and they'll start with great field position at the 41-yard line. Okay, this isn't one where you want to take the game tape and hold it up as an example, do you? I mean, you talk about frustrating all the way through. And that last error, I think that crystallizes it, doesn't it? Absolutely. That's been representative of their entire game still being shut out. A good gain of 14 there, and it moves the chains. Well, it may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, yet he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. Yeah, a lot of coaches say, let's just run the football, be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. No, that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. Another carry tonight for the workhorse, Elliott. And down inside the 15, he goes. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You take in charge. They keep on the ground with Elliott. And this play gets blown up. They'll lose yardage back at the 17. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. A 20th carry here for Elliott. Able to fight for about four yards there to the 13. The recipe is pretty simple, I think, right? Just you give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not there, don't force the run. Just make sure you hang on to the football and keep the clock ticking. On third down, it's Prescott. Looking left side, it's complete. He's got it. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Two yards is all they'll get on the completion. It's fourth down. Well, the strategy was evident there. Get it to your tight end and make it a one-on-one -on -one play with a cornerback. Who's usually going to win that one? The tight end, but not there. Not in this situation. How about the corner defeating that logic and making a really nice tackle? And his kick here is good. And that will bump up the lead again to 12-0. So they settle for just the three. But clearly right now, anything helps trying to salt this one away in the fourth. Without a doubt, obviously a touchdown probably would have been the final nail to finish this thing off. But it's still eight up time, got points. So while it's not mission accomplished, it's darn close.
Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. Latimer on the return. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. And New York set to take the field. And the turnover last time, that's sort of been symptomatic of their struggles here in this one. Big word. I like it, though, yeah. because you're exactly you right. Like that, don't you? All game long, they've struggled moving the ball, turning it over on the last possession. Is that word again, symptomatic? Yeah. yeah. I like that. Your analysis, symptomatic of the success of this broadcast. Hey. What I like is that you gave me the word, hey. and I just kept using it. <laughs> to Shepard, complete over the middle. The completion good for three, and it's second down. Fourth quarter, every drive's so critical, and you figure may only get one more shot after this, so a touchdown's imperative on this drive. It is, but you also have to think to yourself in play calling, don't hold anything back. Don't save it for the second touchdown. You've got the first one for the second one to even matter. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Now Manning. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Only a yard there. Sniffed out well defensively, and it brings up third. And we're definitely getting towards the point of the game where not getting a lot of yards is secondary to keeping the clock moving. I mean, to me, that's a double win defensively. Short gain and some more time off the clock. To throw on third down. Manning. And incomplete. He had nowhere to throw, so he just tossed it away. But that brings up fourth. And I think we'll probably see him go for it here on fourth down. No reason not to. Down a couple of scores. They have to try and make something good happen. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Now Manning got to have this one. And that is incomplete. The Giants go on fourth, but come up empty. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. So now with a two-minute warning coming up fast, that puts a mammoth dent in their comeback hopes. I like how you phrased it. It's a dent because there's still opportunity. They've got to get the ball back on defense, obviously, twice. But guess what? This thing is not close to being over. They need to go ahead and play it out. Not over. As you said, two-score games still. On the counter, Elliott. So he got three of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Gets a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. Decent start defensively to this series. They've got to stop them here and get this ball back. I like the way you phrase that, partner. Decent start, but now it's got to be more about the ball. It's all about the ball, getting it away from them, because making good tackles is one thing, but the clock will run out on you. You've got to have the football back for your offense. They go to Elliott again. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. They got to get it to the 21 here on third down. This is Elliott. And he will have the first down across the 20 to the 19-yard line. And now with 1.52 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively.
push his way forward here for a good little game. And play is stopped here. Timeout. It's the defense calling the timeout here. As they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. reach maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field it brings up third down they come up now third and five following the incomplete pass from the shotgun it's Prescott and that is incomplete I'm going to need some help with this one. How did he miss him? Wide open in the end zone. He's not hurried. He's not hit. And somehow, incomplete? Yeah. What happened? During film study, that's one where he's just going to shake his head, not be able to believe it. Six points go by the wayside on that one. And his kick is good. And the lead extends. It's 15-0. So yet another field goal to end a drive. That has been a very common theme. He's now hit five of them in this game. Yeah, Brandon, as an offense, you hate that you've had to call on your kicker so often. But you have to love the fact that time and time again, he's come through. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. Latimer on the return. And he'll be brought down at the 23, make it the 24-yard line. And New York set to take the field. And on that last drive, Whitford on fourth turned it over. But good job by their defense, though. They held him to three. But this offense, they've got to be a little bit better, a little bit more careful here. And sometimes when you see these calls on fourth down, when they decide to go for it, it's not necessarily the coach saying, I believe in my offense. Sometimes the coach saying, I believe in my defense. I can afford to go for it here, because if we don't get it, I don't think we'll give up more than three. And that's exactly what I think that factored in. I do. I think that he had that in his mind going into the game, that I'm going to be aggressive on offense, because I know I've got a defense that can hold up their end. I hope I don't sound too rah-rah on that one, but that's the exact right throw. Either your receiver gets it or no one gets it. Give him a lot of credit for being really precise with it. Got rid of it. No one got it. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. On play action, it's Manning. And his throw is going to be incomplete. I guess they're in a situation now, fourth quarter, where they're forced to take some chances, but I don't know that that was the type of a chance you want to take. And that one could very easily have been intercepted, and if it does get picked off, that could possibly seal this one. Now they face a third and ten after back-to-back -back incompletions. Shotgun now for Manning. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And it would appear the Cowboys are going to win this football game. Cowboys on their way to victory as they take an knee. Right, 
it. Down to a knee one more time, and that should just about do it. Well, that's the play you work on each and every week. Your offense taking a knee at the end means you've won the ball game. But how about the defensive effort? A shutout, pitching a shutout, they're going to feel great about themselves. They're going to feel really great about themselves. A big goose egg on the scoreboard. Nice job defensively. Yeah, I say dinner on the defensive coordinator tonight. And the storyline of this one, Charles, no doubt, the number zero. Zilch, nada. A shutout so hard to do in the NFL. It really is, and what an accomplishment, because you feel that not just on the defensive side, but as a full team. There's a lot of pride that goes into shutting out an opponent. And how about that zero on the scoreboard for them, going along with those zeros in the time column, too. So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington.